in the more than 600-year time period, from the foundation of the Ottoman Empire to its collapse, 36 sultans had succeeded the throne. And the common feature of almost all Ottoman sultans was that, they all received a very good education. Except for one. And his name was Sultan Mustafa IV. He was an Ottoman sultan who was mentioned by historians with words such as, ignorant, reactionary, unfaithful, dishonest, and a trickster. Today in this video, you'll get to know about the unknown story of Sultan Mustafa IV, and what he did that no other sultan has done in Ottoman history. But before going further, it's our humble request to the viewers to subscribe to the channel, and do like and share the video. A few clicks of yours will not cost you anything, but it'll motivate us, and help our channel to grow. We really appreciate and regard your support. And please, give your feedback in the comments section below. Mustafa IV was the 29th Sultan of the Ottoman Empire from 1807 to 1808. He was born in 1779 to Abdul Hamid I and his fourth wife, Aisha Sini Purva Sultan. In some sources, the name of his mother is mentioned as New Ketsiza Sultan. In April 1789, he was only 10 years old when his father died, and his cousin Salem III ascended the throne. Salem III was a calm, gentle and compassionate person, and hated bloodshed. He showed great importance to patriotism and religion. But there was a problem, Salem III had no children. He did not worry about this, and considered his younger cousins, Mustafa IV and Mahmud II as his own children, as they were the last remaining male members of the Ottoman dynasty after him. He showed great affection to them. Therefore, Mustafa IV led a very comfortable life as a prince. However, this comfort unfortunately didn't affect his upbringing in the way it should have. Mustafa was a greedy, cunning, and dishonest kind of man. Although his mother put a lot of effort to get him a good education. But he used to say that what is the need for him to be educated? For this reason, he left his education unfinished. He preferred to live a life of pleasure rather than to be educated. To catch up with the Western powers, Sultan Salim III wanted to introduce some major militarily and politically reforms into the administration of the Ottoman state, especially in the army. The failures of the Ottoman army in its own time, had largely reflected to took an important step in this phases of Ottoman attempts at reform. The most important reason for this, was the complete destruction of the Janissary Corps. After the wars with Austria and Russia ended with peace treaties, Sultan Salem III had the opportunity to make the innovations he wanted for a long time in the Ottoman army. It was composed of a small unit of Turkish peasant youths from Anatolia, who were collected and sought by well-considered plans, to extend the spread of education. Foreign officers were appointed as instructors, and supplied with modern weaponry. This new small corps of the Western-style military structure was established for the first time, and was called the nizam -e jadid which means, the new system army, and was drilled in 1797. The Janissaries, of course, were disturbed by this situation. An opposition movement was started against the Sultan, together with the statesmen who were against the innovations. Though Salem III acted like a father to Mustafa throughout his years on the throne, and he was Salem III's favorite crown prince. But Mustafa deceived his father-like cousin, Sultan Salem III, and cooperated with the rebels to take his throne. The rebel Janissaries rose up under the leadership of a Janissary sergeant, Karbakshi Mustafa. They induced the Sheikh ul Islam to grant a fatwa against the reforms. And at the end of the rebellion, they dethroned and imprisoned Salem III, and placed his cousin Mustafa on the throne, as Mustafa IV, on the 29th of May 1807. 
Although there was a new system military unit under the command of Salem III, that could easily suppress this revolt, but he did not want bloodshed, and he swore fealty to his cousin as the new Sultan. Whereas, Mustafa allied himself with the Janissaries, and abolished Salem's newly formed Nizam-e Jadid army in 1807. Mustafa IV was 28 years old when he ascended to the throne. The followers of Mustafa IV, who supported him to ascend the throne, were placed on important official positions. After this revolt, the Ottoman state made great concessions to the Janissaries. Whatever they wanted, the Sultan was doing it, but the demands of the Janissaries never ceased. In other words, the office of the Sultan had become the puppet of the rebels, and because of this, the central authority and dominance of the state gradually weakened. The one year and two months reign of Mustafa IV, was like a nightmare for Istanbul in the literal sense. Those who support the army of Sultan Salem III and the Nizam-e Jadid were killed on the spot where they caught. The Janissaries became like brigands, and started to extort tribute from the people. The people compared the periods of Salem III and Mustafa IV to day and night, and even many of the opponents of Salem III were disturbed by this bad cause of the state, and were now wanted his time again. This period, which was spent in turmoil, disorder, disintegration in the state structure, and opposition to innovation, made everyone ill-fated, and some negotiations began to be made, to put Salem III on the throne again. At that time, the person who took the responsibility for reinstating Salem III was, Alamdar Mustafa Pasha. His aim was to make Salem III Sultan again, who was imprisoned in the cage of the palace. Alimdar Mustafa Pasha was an Ottoman commander, who had great success during the Ottoman-Russian War. He was well known, and loved for his courage and generosity. He supported the former Sultan Salem III, and was also a strong partisan of the new reforms. He collected an army of 16,000 men under his command, and secretly marched on Constantinople and seized the palace, but unfortunately, he was too late to come. As a result of this sudden raid, the leader of the rebels, Karbakshi Mustafa and many Janissaries who participated in the rebellion to depose Sultan Salim III, were killed. In order to defuse this rebellion against him, and to secure his position as Sultan, Mustafa immediately ordered the murder of both his cousin Salim III and his brother Mahmud II, so that he could be the only surviving heir to the Ottoman throne, and they would not seek someone else to ascend to the throne. The executioners first arrived in the room of Salem III, and killed him with a sword. However, his brother Mahmud II was escaped through a window, and safely kept hidden with the efforts of some officials until Alimdar Mustafa and his men killed the rebels, and eventually saved the prince. It is said that shedding the Ottoman royal blood was prohibited, and the previous and even all other sultans were strangled or poisoned to death. Salem III would be the only Ottoman Sultan to be killed by the sword. When the leader of the rebellion, Alimdar Mustafa and his armed men arrived and broke down the palace doors, Mustafa IV ascended the throne assuming that Mahmud was also dead. He ordered his guards to show the Salem's body to the rebels, and they promptly tossed his dead body into the inner courtyard of the Topkapi Palace. Mahmud then revealed himself and the treacherous plan of Mustafa IV, to remain the sole heir to the throne did not work. On July 28, 1808, Mustafa IV was dethroned and Alimdar Mustafa Pasha declared Prince Mahmud the new Sultan with the name, Mahmud II, and became his Grand Vizier. Despite all the insistence of those around him, Mahmud II could not kill his brother Mustafa IV and spared his life. However, Mustafa IV, who lived a caged life in the palace, was still burning with greed for the throne despite all this. He was planning a new rebellion for his re-enthronement, and was sending letters to the Janissaries through his men in the palace. But Mahmud too was aware of his development. The situation was becoming increasingly dangerous again, so in accordance with the fatwa signed by the Sheikh ul Islam, Mustafa IV was executed on the order of Mahmud II, on the night of November 15 or 16, 1808.
He was 29 years old at his death. After his funeral was held with a ceremony, he was buried in the mausoleum of his father, at the Fatih, in Istanbul. Sultan Mahmud II became a sultan who thought of the innovative state not like his brother, but like his cousin Salim III, and the Janissary Corps was terminated during his reign. According to some historians, the reign of Sultan Mustafa IV was only a symbolic one, as the real political power was not in his hands because of the political turmoil of his period. It is stated by some unknown sources, that the nizam -e jadid reforms were not completely abandoned. Sultan Mustafa IV also supported this under the table. He appointed a naga, who previously taught the trained soldiers, and assigned him to work in this field but no clear evidence spotted this. However, he is criticized for his act of shedding the blood of the one who brought him up with love like his own son.